Since the launch of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, it has never failed to surprise us with its unparalleled discoveries. From exoplanets and some of the oldest galaxies in the early universe, to the breathtaking views of nebula, James Webb Telescope has made very impressive discoveries. Now the James Webb Space Telescope has made another historic discovery by detecting six massive structures at the edge of our universe. Together, let's go on a journey to the beginning of the cosmos and find out more about this new discovery by the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope discovered what appear to be six massive old galaxies called universe breakers by astronomers because their existence might challenge current cosmological theories. The objects are much larger than was previously believed to be possible for galaxies so soon after the Big Bang and at that time when the universe was only 5% as old as it is today. The cosmos was filled with opaque hydrogen gas that captured light at certain wavelengths from stars and galaxies just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The gas became fully transparent throughout the first billion years, allowing light to pass through without obstruction. For a very long time, researchers have looked for solid evidence to support this change. New data from the James Webb Space Telescope recently pinpointed the answer using a set of galaxies that existed when the universe was only 900 million years old. These galaxies had stars that produced enough light to heat and ionize the gas surrounding them, creating enormous, transparent bubbles. Eventually, the bubbles met and combined, leading to today's clear and expansive views. In Webb's near-infrared image, we can see structures in every individual galaxy that the James Webb Space Telescope has detected. These galaxies are clumpy and frequently elongated, giving them a more chaotic appearance than those in the neighboring universe. Additionally, Webb shows they were actively forming stars and must have been shooting off many supernovae. Because the gas between stars and galaxies was opaque in the early cosmos, intense starlight could not pass through it. The gas had became fully transparent one billion years after the Big Bang, though. But why? The reason has been identified by new data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The stars of the galaxies emitted enough light to heat and ionize the surrounding gas, clarifying our collective view over hundreds of millions of years. This findings of a research team represent the most recent understandings of a period known as the Era of Reionization. What is the Reionization Era? After the cosmic microwave background formed 400,000 years after the Big Bang, all the universe's hydrogen gas was in atomic form, an electron orbiting each proton. But this did not last. Massive stars produce enough energy to tear apart hydrogen, separating protons and electrons. When galaxies grew in the first billion years, light from their hot stars spread into the surrounding intergalactic gas, producing bubbles of ionized gas around them. As galaxies continued to grow, so did the ionized bubbles, reionizing all hydrogen. This is the landmark event of the first generations of galaxies, marking the transition from the cosmic dawn to the later evolution of normal galaxies. For a very long time, scientists have looked for strong evidence to support these evolutionary changes. The latest findings essentially lift the veil on this reionization epoch's conclusion. Webb not only convincingly demonstrates that these transparent areas are there around galaxies, but scientists have also measured their size. Imagine a hot air balloon with a pea floating inside. That's how large these regions of transparent gas are in comparison to galaxies. According to Webb's findings, these relatively small galaxies started reionization and cleared vast areas of space in their surroundings. These transparent bubbles kept getting bigger and bigger over the following hundred million years until they finally merged and made the entire cosmos transparent. The universe once had a patchwork of gas in different states when it was neither completely transparent nor completely opaque. Scientists aimed Webb in the direction of a quasar, an extremely luminous active supermassive black hole that acts like an enormous flashlight, 
highlighting the gas between the quasar and our telescope. The light from the quasar passed freely through clear gas, or was absorbed by opaque gas as it proceeded towards us through various areas of gas. The team's groundbreaking results were only possible by pairing Webb's data with observations of the central quasar from the WM Keck Observatory in Hawaii and the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope and the Magellan Telescope at Las Campanas Observatory, both in Chile. The quasar provides us extensive information about the composition and state of the gas by illuminating gas in our line of sight. The researchers next utilized Webb to identify galaxies close to this line of sight, and they demonstrated that the galaxies are typically surrounded by transparent regions with a radius of roughly 2 million light years. In other words, towards the end of the reionization era, Webb saw galaxies as they were clearing the space around them. The distance between our Milky Way galaxy and our nearest neighbor, Andromeda, is about equal to the region that these galaxies have cleared. Until now, researchers didn't have this definitive evidence of what caused reionization. Before Webb, they weren't certain precisely what was responsible. Soon, the group will start investigating galaxies in five other areas, each of which is supported by a central quasar. By exceeding the expectations from Webb, astronomers were easily able to identify 117 galaxies that were present during the era of reionization. When describing the James Webb Space Telescope early galaxy results, astronomers are at a loss for words. They can't wait to get their hands on more spectra and photos to fine-tune or perfect their models. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.